Hey all and welcome back for another Hellfire Comms Patreon Quick Look. Today, by way of Lokivex, we are going to be checking out Sekiro Shadows Die Twice for the PlayStation 4. As you may have uh, already guessed if you've watched our uh, Quick Look for Dark Souls, I'm not particularly good at Souls types of games, but um, where Dark Souls etc. kind of valued more like slow and methodical play, maybe this one's a bit more action oriented, like a uh, Bloodborne to a certain extent, so maybe maybe I'll do well, but it is very stealth based as well, so we're probably going to hit like the uncanny valley of uh, shit tier end on gameplay. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, this is uh, less of a Souls game and more of a basically a Tenchu game. Uh, in fact, I think at one point they wanted it to be a sequel to the old Tenchu Ninja series. And then they said, well, why would we do that when we can just make it its own IP? Because, well, that just makes things easier. Uh, you know we're in for a good time when the Wikipedia page says that critics, you know, praised its gameplay and setting, but were a little turned off by the high level of difficulty, comma, even compared to Dark Souls. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. When the red thingy flashes up, that's my cue to hit. So this takes place in Sengoku-era Japan, which is Japan's favorite period to make things about. Got him! You just see a guy over there just, like, jumping and spinning in circles, no scoping. <laughs> well, that's one death. Now I need to see a second one <laughs> to fulfill the title. That's it. You die one more time and it's over. Can you imagine a Dynasty Warriors game with this sort of gameplay? How much different that would be? Yeah, it would be quite... It, it is the antithesis to, you know, the Dynasty Warriors thing where... Those are just spin around and do cool stuff where this is, you know, got to be more careful. And that's two. Well, that's it. The shadows have died twice. Oh, yes. It is a good day for blood. I'm not playing in Japanese because I'm a ween, by the way. I'm playing because it was the default. I was gonna ask, would there? I wonder if there even is a dub because I mean, it takes place in, you know, Japan. Mm, well, there is a dub. You can choose it if you want. I'm just going with what's there. This is my sword now. Huh. Slight shades of Veroni Kenshin. A little bit. <laughs> Please, I want more swords. See, in Japan, that's just a normal sentence. If you ask someone, will you join me, starving wolf, in the UK, be like, fuck off, mate. <laughs> or they tell you the, the way to the nearest bar, you know, they'd just be like, just go down the road, come on. <laughs> You're giving your ostrich a walkie daft con. <laughs> that's the best video. Ugh. <laughs> uh. That make that that makes me so sad. There is no ostrich Pokemon in in Galar because it would have been perfect. And no following Pokemon either. But hey ho. Oh, that's a nice scar you've got there. Going a bit grey around the temples as well. Yeah, it's a bit of an older protagonist than we are kind of used to. And yeah, this game does not feature the, uh, you know, the character customization that most of these, uh, you know, Souls games have. We are a set character with a set look. Yes, first name Sekiro, last name Die Twice. Middle name Shadows. Sorry, I forgot the middle name for a second there. It's, <laughs> it's the honorific that most Japanese just forget to put in their games. Yeah. We, we have to call him Dies Twice, son. <laughs> oh, we're off to a, a terrible start at this quick look. Please give me some gameplay so I can make it even worse. Oh god, the story continues! <laughs> no, you must know about the Sengoku era of Japan. The history. Alright, on the brink of collapse. It's always on the fucking brink of collapse. I don't know, get some builders in. Alright, we are wolf. I'm guessing, anyway. Okay, yeah, I know all about, like, the, uh, person you're tasked with protecting. Yeah, just bombing about, making sure to give the Lionel a wide berth. 
So I know one thing that this game does uh, differently than other FromSoft games is, as far as I'm aware, there is almost no stat building. It is all just more character action based. It is more on your skills. So we don't have to worry about putting in the right amount of stats to stuff, mm -hmm. which is always terrifying in those types of games. Yeah, but the, the, the skills system kind of offset my own terrible skill. So it was kind of a crutch, really. Without a crutch, what am I? But a lonesome samurai. Am I dead already? No, we're just having an anime moment. Okay. Yo. Throw one in there, why not? This is how all people in Japan sleep, by the way. They just uh, do sit up like that and hopefully have some deep revelation, you know, dreams. Well, I mean, I've never been to Japan. You could tell me sweet nothings, terrible lies, and I would have to believe you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Alright. I feel gamer juice surging through my veins. Oh, we are maybe possibly dying looking at that health. We're already off to a great start. <laughs> Colonel's Wolf, your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay silent, stay vigilant. Okay. Alright, so I guess we're off with a, uh, a stealth section to begin with? There you go. Ah, uh, we got Mega Man X wall jumps. That's a good thing to have. Nice. Let's not, uh, toggle wall hug. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, shimmy. That's a good word. Yep. Shimmy, sidle. Wind Waker uses sidle. Mm-hmm. I've never seen any anywhere else in this world use the word sidle, but I'll, I'll take it. Uh, advance without being seen by crouching. You do not have a sword at the moment. You stealth to- oh god, we are- we are just fucked. L3. There you go. Well, hopefully these are, you know, the early game guards that are just like, yeah, I'm gonna stare at this scarecrow for a good 15 minutes. Think it's going well so far? Go inside the house? Yes. Oh no! Were we seen? I think we were. It's fine. It's good. We're good. We're Gucci. They'll eventually... I'm sure leader Sh Shigenori Yamauchi will just be like, oh, well, it must have been the wind. It was. Oh, we can ledge hang, too. You can't do shit. I am the wolf, silent as the night sky wind. Yeah, he's just like, yeah, it wasn't a big deal. Well, I did say right off the bat I wasn't any good at stealth. Thank you for giving me a little pit to drop into there, because I wasn't paying attention. I was gonna say, are we are we gonna, you know, ace the stealth and then just fall down a pit? Oh, lord. There you go. Yeah. So far, the mobility seems way higher than any of your average uh, Souls games. Oh, yeah. Nope, not around there. He's a bit faster. He's a bit more nimble. I mean, it makes sense. You are a ninja and not a guy in full-blown, you know, armor. Yeah. I keep wanting to press circle with every fiber of my being, but it's like, no! Weed yourself off such things. Talk here long enough. Just reading some uh, Sailor Moon over there. Oh yeah, it's important to keep up with pop culture and whatnot. I'm sorry, you're too good for me to shake your hand. It's like, you mustn't remember me. My name is Pigma Dengar. Okay, we're going with that, I suppose. May I have sword plus? Oh, bless you, Sensei. Or is it Senpai? I'm not sure. Uh, in this case, it would be... Might possibly Kohai, because they're younger. Depends. Your honorifics are whack. How do you feel about them using them when it's an English translation, like in Persona? 
Um, if it takes place in explicitly Japan, it's useful for the fact that you can't really translate, like, when a character starts using different honorifics for a person. I'm fine with that. But if it's something that's, like, in a fantasy world, I'm like, no, they, no, just get rid of those. Okay. Once Fort Lost, it has found its way back into the hands of the wolf. The name, oh god, I'm gonna butcher this, Kusabimaru besieges. A shinobi's role is to kill, but even a shinobi must not forget mercy. A mantra of the blade itself may manifest. Nice. What is this? Oh. Gifts? Gifts, you say? Is it a jelly-filled donut? <laughs> Don't, Tano. I'm trying to have a good time here. This is going to be our Estus flask then. Yeah, healing gourd. Uh, resting refills the gourd. I like how they're like, yes, it's full of magical water, just to get around the fact that it's probably just sake. Pay no attention to the camera swiveling around you, my shinobi. It's for dramatic effect. I comply and obey. Secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. I guess we're going to have to fight our way out, though. I don't know, send up a flare, maybe. Or a reed whistle. A reed whistle works as well. Just pull it out and accidentally summons Epona. Oh, Jesus. Although, if it was Hyrule Warriors, I would be the most invincible motherfucker on the battlefield. God, Epona is the strongest in that game. Uh, use quick item up on the d-pad. You got it. Probably a good idea to head upstairs and see if there's, uh, some good stuff for us. Uh, the equipment manual allows you to change your currently equipped items. Five slots available. Okay, okay. Healing Gourd. Yeah. There we go. We had another item there. What was the the other one we got? That was a Homeward Idol, I believe, which I assume is like a Homeward Bone. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Pellets slowly restore vitality. I guess I'll put that on, like, the second slot or something. Ah, so these are, like, you can also have some ones that are uh, not necessarily instantly refillable or you don't uh, automatically re replenish. So other healing items. That's nice. That makes things easier. Seems that Might way. be a good idea to, to use either our gourd or something before we head out, because we are currently in the process of dying. Eh, uh, I'll use this then. Yeah. Let's go. Oh lordy. The night wind beckons. Posture and death blows. Uh, when an enemy's posture breaks, he is vulnerable to a shinobi death blow. R1 attack... R1 after breaking posture, death blow. So just R1 when the red light pops up, I guess. Seems like it. Can you stealth kill? Cool. Uh-oh. Can't really stealth kill this dude. Got him. Boy, it's a good thing they put, like, the weakest, newest guards right here in front of this base. Oh, yeah. Oh, is he coming? Oh, he's gonna fucking die. Boy, I sure wouldn't like to get a sword put in my back today. Oh, jeez! Oh, it's a good thing it was my neck instead. Sometimes relentless attack is not enough. L1 the moment an attack lands to deflect. Okay. Oh, your parries. We've got two of these fuckers here. All right, come on, then. Uh, lock on with R3. You got it. Do you prefer parries, rolls, or defends? Um, I'm not sure, honestly. Damn. Yeah! Nice. Good shit. Just like that heal. Yeah. Get me up there. Ah, it's a slow regen. That's good. Oh, hello. Don't ask what their pellets are. Fuck. This is why I get for slicing and dicing. Come on. Alright, and this dude's over here just not doing anything. Well, not anymore, no. Yo! 
Ooh, uh, sorry, I can't, <laughs> can't help but do that. Cats, Such a good sound. Counter slash could be performed immediately after deflecting an attack. L1 and then counter slash. You got it. You were literally already doing those. Yikes. Ah, so it seems like he has his own sort of stagger meter. Oh, you're getting there, Tom. You're getting there. Might be a good idea to... He has the high ground to, to get it on even ground. Mm-hmm. And I'm dead. That's what I get for slashing away, but... Death does not mean much in this game. Well, at least not now, anyway. Talk about the quick items. Use the quick item. Yeah. Lock onto a target. Yeah. Eavesdrop. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Get information. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to die like that. Okay. Let me see if I can refill my shit. Can I? No, because it looks like you, you, your pellet is still there in your, uh, in your inventory used, though. Oh, well. Is everyone going to be, like, alive again? Oh, shit. Yes, they are. Can we sneak around the edge, I wonder, though? It looks like over on that left side, because that's where we're kind of getting to. It's cool. I'll just speed run these suckers. And it is good practice for our, our counter timing and stuff. Oh, I, I wonder where that other guy was. Yeah. So how many counters do I, do I have to do on the big guy, exactly? Well, it looked like he had at the top of his, uh, uh, by his life bar there, a big sort of, I mean, I guess it's like a stance meter or something. Because when you did the counter strike there, it put on like a third of it. And you did a second one and it was almost full. You didn't actually get him to, uh, to be fully full there, though. So I'm thinking it's, you just gotta keep, keep doing the, either the counter hits or the regular hits to get him to be, uh, in the window of being hit. Because, yeah, you instantly filled up that dude's, like, stamina gauge there or whatever. Oh, all right, come on. That's nasty, but I've got my healing gourd, so I can take a few licks. That's still nasty. Get up. Come on. All right, if you insist. Just take a, a good swig. Yeah, so it might be a good idea to kind of go in, get one hit, and then stop on him so that you can get him to to for, get ready for his counterattack. There you go. Slowly learning. Oh, he has one more life bar, though, it seems. Uh, they require multiple death blows to be killed. So yeah, it's just like how many reflects to make him prone that I was struggling with. See ya! There you go. Yeah, that's another pellet for me, thank you. Mmm, yum yum, I love these pellets. Just gotta leave him there. No honor. Hello. Looks like a nice little item. Uh, throw it at an enemy to temporarily distract them. It's pocket sand! Shasha! <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. That's a dash. Circle is a dash. Does not open from this side. Good to know. If only we could, like, insert our sword and pull it or something. Nope. None of that. We're a shinobi, not a mathematician. Make sure I go down the right way here. So we're looking for the secret tunnel by the moat. Can I seriously not jump up there? I guess not. Can you go around and at least open that door that was there? Because it's kind of down around that corner. That's what I'm trying to do. I just don't want to like jump into a bottomless pit or something. Yeah, that looks a bit like a bottomless pit. So can I get up or can I like hang? I'm, I'm having trouble discerning what's... Jumpable and what's not here. Okay, that's good. Oh, can you go around the other side or? That's cool. I know what it wants me to. 
Ah, there you go. It's cool. It's me old eyes playing tricks for me. Bit of big brain platforming. Oh no, there's a golem. Oh, well, they're just talking about it. Just, you know, just, just talking. Okay, they got guards, so that's good. Just a little... Oh, that thing is horrible looking. Yeah, that's why I killed him, mate. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's a little... little bridge troll. Yikes. Oof. There's something down there that I want. Mm-hmm. Another pellet, good. Yeah. I wasn't sure if there was fall damage or whatnot. I kind of panicked a little bit, though. Hopefully we, a good ninja, means uh, that we don't have to worry about fall damage. Basically, when you become a shinobi, you get the Spider-Man power set, so no fall damage, you can web swing, and so on and so forth. Alright, wait, how did this kid wall jump and stuff? They had a hard time getting down that ledge. I killed everyone in the path. Yeah, but wall jumping and climbing on the bridge? Uh, less weight to carry. Fine. Fair. So, w one thing I'm struggling with is, like, how many deflects you need to turn an enemy prone, but that's more me not really getting to grips with the sword player. Otherwise, it's fine. Um, pff, McDonald's, maybe. Pizza Hut sounds good. Just grab some and go. <laughs> I have no personality. I am at your desire. <laughs> Is now really the time? Can we close the door at least? I'm feeling exposed. It's a bit chilly out. You see that snow? Yeah. Do, do, do. Uh, things are going perfectly. I foresee no problems with this escape plan. Oh, hey, look, it's the end of Metal Gear Solid 3. Oh, no. I remember this place. You thought I died fast to the big fucker before. You wait until we get to real Dog McGee over here. Oh, look at this Virgil. He has a hat. <laughs> and therefore he must be killed. <laughs> well, that's the ranking of enemies. No coat, mook, coat, guard, uh, coat with big shoulders, elite guard, hat, general. Looks like it's time for Wolf to let her rip. Oh. <laughs> the memes, Genichiro! <laughs> the memes. <laughs> Would that even translate into, like, Japanese or whatever? A uh, meme is a universal term, meaning anything not, uh, anything spread through the generations that is not genetic, so yes. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. I like this dude's big, like, glamour thing on his back that makes no sense. Oh! Pop a ballot. Pocket ash. Pocket ash. Shasha. Oh, that's oh, that was a death blow. Luckily, you're not meant to uh, actually finish this particular battle. At least I'm pretty sure you're not. I, I've heard of people actually beating it. It is possible, but then at the last second, he does like a uh, you cannot win technique, and yep, rip your hand. Well. I wasn't using it anyway, so... I recognize that voice, but I can't put her voice to a face right now. Didn't even use the bow. That was the biggest insult of him all. What is this creature? Uh, he looks like a Tengu. Please help. Send pellets. At least we died in a really cool place, you know? Now we are above even the wolf. We are the big wolf. 
Oh boy, I can't wait until I get an enemy with uh, a little bit of vim and vinegar, and uh, I try and counter every single second, and then it's just sure. Oh no, big leg man. Dude's just whittling away. He is. Gotta be honest, I felt better. You know, we got a warm blanket. Could be worse. Really could. Either that or it's a carpet he put on top of us. Well, this is going to make things interesting but not impossible. Wolf, have you seen Berserk? <laughs> Kind of amazing technology for the time frame. Yep, almost unbelievable. Almost. 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 wonder if we're going to get into the shadows die twice bit soon. Ah, the artificial arm of a shinobi, passed down by the sculptor. A variety of mechanisms are equipped to it. Bears a number of cuts. It has been impeccably maintained. All right, I'm giving it a Google. The first prosthetic arm was made in, uh, oh, wow, uh, 950 BC. Jeez. But the first modern one was made at the beginning of the 16th century, and the Sengoku era War of Japan was in the 16th century. So it's actually not unbelievable. There you go. Alright, I guess it's time for us to go out and, uh, yeah, I'm going to ask about my new left arm. It's pretty groovy, isn't it? Ah, uh, I gave you a stereo in there, just for the shits and giggles. Yeah, I don't really need it, I'm just going to be carving these butters until basically the end of time. You know, at least he'll never be lonely. Ah, so we can upgrade it as we go along, I suppose. We can attach a crossbow. We can attach a, uh, a machine gun. Shining laser. Uh, that's okay, yeah. Yeah, appreciate it's worth, yeah. Dots, I've said too much, go now. Okay, yeah. They all wanted prosthetics as well, but uh, I draw the line at going below the belt line. Hey, hey, woohoo! Two strangers in strange circumstances. You two might get along. Do we have a save point? Uh, the Sculptor's Idol. Sculptor's Idol serves as a checkpoint and can be found throughout Ashina. Uh, resting will completely replenish vitality and restore one use of resurrection. Additionally, uh, quick items of spirit emblems and storage will be... Da -da. It will also revive defeat enemies with some exceptions. Probably bosses, I'm assuming, is what they mean by that. Yeah. Uh, well, I haven't really got anything on me, so... Uh... Yeah, pallet. Onward on to adventure. Oh, the grappling hook! Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, press L2 to grapple apple. Oh, I like it. If your video game doesn't have a grappling hook, why bother? Get the fuck out of here, that's what I say to you. No, come on, Tom. There you go. Oh, we got some pretty visuals. See, I'd like winter if winter looked like this and not the minus 50 hellscape I have to drive through every day. Like, this is this is nice and peaceful, where it, winter is usually not that. Yeah. Oh, so we can, like, fast travel between them. That's cool. Oh, we get that instantly. That's really good. If I recall, that was, like, unlockable in, uh, in other Dark Souls types, but here it's like, nah, you just get it right now. So you can just grapple onto any point that's on screen. That's okay. We we do Spider-Man, I guess. Yeah. Way less context sensitive than I thought. Ooh, that's a big boy. Who has seen me? Hello. 
he's like, how do I deal with him being up there? There's nothing that slashing and dashing can't solve. Oh, loot. We can steal their, uh, their yen. Use it to, uh, get some gotcha tokens. Hello. The wolf really wants a cute One Piece strap for his cell phone. Uh, is it a hold or tap? I'm not really sure. For the deflect? Yeah. I think it's it's a tap as soon as he goes to do it. Sorry, folks. I'm doing my best. Ceramic shard. Throw it at an enemy to draw their attention. I like how a, a lot of these items are just, hey, here's some junk. Throw it. Yeah. You could probably stealth kill that dude. Or not, because someone else saw you. Never- Oh, that was rad, though. Come on, you bitch. Okay, I just see the word bullets, meaning that someone has a gun here. <laughs> yeah, that, that was... I'll scope out the place more next time, perhaps. And a wolf just appeared. Yeah? <laughs> well, if... Not, not, not us wolf, but another wolf. Well, at least I get to show off this particular uh, gameplay quirk. Uh, I'm gonna resurrect. Safety roll. Ah, oh, we get a, a tech, as it's called. Yeah. It's weird to think that, yeah, in, like, this era of Japan, there was totally dudes with guns, but it's just that guns were less honorable than swords, so you would usually, if you were a high-ranking samurai, use a, a sword instead of a gun, because it's way cooler. Yeah. Any other fuckers around here? Don't think so. Don't see one immediately. Is that another idol there? Oh, I saw it, right? Get our gourd regorded. Mm -hmm. They might bring the enemies back, though. Thankfully, we're going that way where there's already enemies, probably. Yeah. I th oh, it's only, I think, if you actually hit the rest button that it brings them back. Okay. Hello. Shuriken wheel. Uh, can be fit into the prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool, and it lets you fire shurikens. Ooh, we should just warp that back to the uh, to the guy, and then uh, we can we can get our uh, get a cool projectile. Just ignore the dog that sees us. Nope, want to get up? Yeah, there you go. Ah, uh, you, you have to grapple onto a cool little uh, little tree branch. We do. Uh, important places. Dilapidated temple. And he'll be like, wow, that was fast. Wow. You got to be a good thing to put on your good arm. Uh, you can still, I'm still a bit outmatched when it comes to reflexes and parrying and whatnot. Parrying is definitely one of those, one of those skills that is really difficult to, uh, to master. Also, hey, there's someone who's just chilling. We'll go talk to her after. I've come for business, not pleasure right now. Uh, fitting shinobi tools, change the form. Hmm. Few of these, and I could strike terror into these guys. It's like I accidentally made this Buddha look a little angry. Fitting prosthetic tools, okay. Loaded shuriken. This is a damages enemy vitality and posture, so both their health and the stagger there. That, which, which one? That one, I'm assuming. Either they can be equipped in the menu, consuming them uses. Oh, using them consumes spirit arrow. Okay. 
Yeah, so they have like a, a general um, currency, if you will, to use them, which uh, from what I've heard, the game is, is actually fairly strict with your, your number of emblems. Yeah, 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 Angus are oh good, yeah. Hello. Yeah, I'm gonna try harder when I go back through that area, don't you worry, lady. Huh. Ooh, Emma. So, that sounds a lot like Enma, yep. which is the name of uh, basically Hell in Japan, in, in, in Shintoism, so that's interesting. Yeah, the god of medicinal water, originally a creation. Da -da -da. Present healing god. Where did you get this water? It's actually my bath water. Ah, no wonder it's so restorative. <laughs> okay, yeah, mm hmm, yeah. God seeds. God seeds. God seeds, okay. You can get more sippies if you bring her more gourd seeds. Oh, I have no gourd seeds. We are at minimal sippy. Yikes. What is this? A pellet. I will take that. We could just warp back to where we were. We don't have to go back this way. No, oh, we could, but... Uh. We want to see what else lies ahead. I want a revenge run is what I want. Ah. All must die before me. It's kind of weird. There's a save point, and then right, right a couple steps ahead, another save point. Eh, what are you gonna do? Curious. Makes me wonder if maybe the landscape will shift. Yes. Yes. That'll do. It wasn't a leaping one, as I wished, but... Yeah, it was close enough. Another pellet? Sure. Come on. Ah, it seems like the little circle there is a distance thing, so you gotta be at a certain, uh, certain distance to use it. Okay. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, he can throw stuff too. The enemies have learned the ability to pocket sand. Ah. Uh, yeah, he did. Well, thankfully, re-going through areas just gives me a bit more of an opportunity to do stuff right. Oh, and actually, now I'm looking at it, your health bar there uh, now has the two sort of red circles that the boss did, showing your uh, level of resurrections. Ah. Yeah. I will say every kill is pretty stylish. Shusha! He didn't see that coming. That's the way I get fucking down. So if you see in the top corner now, you have like a little, uh, it looks like the souls from Dark Souls there. Uh -huh. uh, the little meter going up. Those are your spirit emblems, which are used uh, to use your prosthetic tool. So in this case, they uh, it gets consumed for uh, throwing shurikens like a cool ninja would. Okay. Can I go up? No. I think you might be able to jump onto that roof, though. Just from right where you are. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Go! Actually, the stealth in this is, is going pretty good for us. Oh, yeah. Nope. Ooh, and there be an item right there. Ongo Sugar. Uh, temporarily reduces vitality. Don't know why I find that funny. Uh, from physical attacks. Bite the candy and take it into you. Uh, by doing so, endure the excess karma of man from the... I have no idea what the fuck it's saying to me here. 
Uh, basically, it just you pop it and you get less damage done to you. I actually had one of those when I went to Japan because I went to a tea ceremony. And a boy, Japanese candy from like the 16th century, holds up pretty okay. Yes, well, you know, they wouldn't make it in the first place if it wasn't good. There's a lot of choice as to what to do around here. What Is the that a chicken? Get out of here. I, I didn't expect there to be chicken enemies. I guess those ancient Japanese chickens were like true monsters or something. Sure were. More pellets, always good. Might as well just put pellet on there just in case I need it. Can't tell if there's anyone down there. Oh, that's a guy down there, I think. Oh, I can't even see it. Oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, someone's looking at you. Oh, that dude has two life bars. Perilous attacks. Uh, okay, you got it. Ah, so that when the red appears, that is an undeflectable one. You gotta just dodge. Yikes. Come on. Yeah, this dude's, uh, pretty beefy looking. Oh, but you also just, uh, staggered him out of it, which was good. Yikes. No, uh, no, I'm dead. Uh. Joke's on you, mister. He's gonna be like, well, I did it. Ha ha. Never mind, you fool, putting away thy sword. Yikes. Nope, no, 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 no. Ooh. He's, uh... Yeah, pop that healing board. Perhaps another pellet. Ah! Alright, lock on. Lock on. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, that was bad. That was very bad, Tom. That dude is... is tough. He's a tough enemy. We are going to avoid him when we come through here next. Yes. <laughs> So like, how many times do you have to parry him? It's like, goddamn. Yeah, it's, 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 it definitely seems like parrying there, you want to do it a couple times and then get away. Uh, oh, interesting. You're, you're, you don't lose too much experience there. Uh, let's just rest. Get back our mojo. Then we will travel the gate path. It's all about dying and learning, and learning and dying. To die is to learn, and to learn is to die. Oh yeah, so that is another thing about this game, is there are different types of skills that you can learn, mm -hmm. uh, and the one thing about them is that you can only equip one at a time, so it's not like a Devil May Cry, where you're going to get a billion moves that all you can all kind of use at the same time and you know switch between them. Uh, you pick one, and that one is another sort of tool in your kit. Uh, so it's, 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 you know, there are some standouts I've heard that are like the best and make it go like, well, why would you ever not use this aside from wanting to be cool? Hmm. Huh. Okay, well, I've got my view of the entire place now. Mm-hmm. It's a dope little, little mountain encampment here. Oh, and someone's firing at us from afar, which is just not fair. That's not honorable. Stop that. Dude. Whee! Whee! Again, I'm just not sure of, like, when to parry or if you tap or hold. It seems like you have to tap it probably for each strike that they do. Yes, yeah. Uh, you know, because it's going to be a case of... You know, pairing in, like, uh, any sort of fighting game or whatever there, where for every single hit. I've heard of a couple moments where the, uh, it goes into Evo moment territory, where you gotta parry, like, 30 times before you get your chance to strike. Oh, I'm coming. 
And this this guy at close range is like, well, that's it. I'm done. If only we attached a small sword to our guns. <laughs> Uh, I'm not even entirely sure where I'm going at this point in time. I'm just following the path. The general uh, outline of a Dark Souls-ish game is, seems to be just explore until you find something. The world kind of spreads out everywhere. Got him. Yeah. I think we cleared out most of this base so we could look for some items at least. Yeah. He's showing money. I'm not really entirely sure how to get money. Hmm. There's no prompt for money. Oh, money prompts. Love them. Oops, that's not stealthy, Tom. <laughs> Just crashing into boxes. This is not the Shinobi way. Hello. Nope, that's not me, and I think we found a crazy woman. Inosuke, what is this? Demon Slayer? <laughs> okay, it's giving me a bell for Buddha. If only we knew where there was a Buddha. Well, we'll find another thing and then we'll walk back, I guess. Oh, hello. <laughs> Finds name tag Inosuke. Uh-oh. <laughs> it is me, the wolf. I have been stumbling through this village for nigh on 20 minutes now. Oh no. Oh my god, I was super right. He was literally right there. Uh, 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 oh, she has dementia. That sucks. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh. <laughs> and that's how I met your mother. Da da done. <laughs> oh, okay. Just optional little thing, I guess. Nope. <laughs> Ah, oh, there's a dude up there firing a rocket launcher? They might have had those. Because, you know, fireworks and stuff, but maybe. Come on, you cunt! Ow! Well, they got hit as well, so. See ya! Yeah, it might be a good idea to just Bucky through here. No. Can you imagine your job being like the 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 rocket guy? You'd either be like everyone's best friend or worst enemy on the base. Hmm. Really, it just depends on the time of day. Yeah. So many people to kill. So little time. It's interesting because it feels like there's less enemies than a Souls game, but everyone presents more of a challenge, right? Where it's it's, it's less about the, you know, the skeletons you gotta kill. It's more about everyone's a person. Is that the theme of this game? I guess so. Alright, so fire good. Fire indeed hot. Well, we got gunpowder, which makes me wonder how we'll put that into a thing. Oh, that looks like a save point up there. Sure does. Ooh, maybe we should go hand off that uh, that bell we got and see what we can do with it. Okay, someone has very long vision. They've been watching us for a while now. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, important places, temple. Yeah. Just watches us warp away, confused. Oh, bless them. Bless their stupid little eyes. Yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. So I'm good at death blows, not so good at actually parrying. Mm hmm. Yeah, and it's something something that you you gain physical skill on. Yo, what's up with this bell, though? <laughs> I have a tiny bell. 
Ah, it reminds me of the time I went to a maid cafe. <laughs> don't, don't, Tanner, don't. Look, they, they're, they're actually pretty wholesome, okay? Okay. Do I have a new prosthetic? No. Well, we got a piece of one, because we got that gunpowder that popped up and said, Hey, you can, uh... You can actually use it for something, but we, we don't have everything for it, it seems. Yeah, I think that's just like a, a loaded launcher or something. Yo, if we get a cannon arm, that'd be sick. So I tried to reply and had a stroke. Ring, ding, ding, butterphone. Let's plays on to a real career. Yeah, yeah. Damn, Belle, you'd be spitting mad truths today. It's okay, you can laugh at that. But if you laugh too hard, I'll be offended. Well, we'll bring a decibel counter to see, like, the level of laugh. Oh, if you go over five, you're fucked. Over seven, you're banned. Ah. We ban you. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, something's loading. But is it good or bad? We don't know. Three years ago. Oh, lordy. Oh. Interesting. So there's, like, flashback stuff. Can we just travel between worlds through the statue? I wonder. Everything's burning. I mean, at least we're out of the snow. Uh, what is rain, but just less solid snow. Also warmer. When it rained while I was in, J in Japan, it was so, uh, so humid you could barely tell it was even raining. Yikes. Yeah, that's the Tengu guy that swiped, uh, swiped our little friend. Oh, yeah. I'm savvy. I've seen time travel films before. That doesn't answer me. <laughs> nope. Give me a number. So I physically got into a memory, it seems. Seems like it. Uh, this seems pretty unrealistic. I was with it for the prosthetic arms, but dream worlds? Puh. Yeah. I shake my head at this unrealism. Unrealism, Tadu. That's a word now. Tadu well better be. Hmm. Good thing these guys wear helmets that give them zero peripheral vision, and also don't wear shirts. Yeah, I can definitely see how this started as a uh, as a Tenchu game, and not necessarily uh, was a uh, you know a, a Souls ish game from the start because just how you ran up and stealth kill enemies, it looks like from what I've seen of Tenchu, very similar. Also, sayonara, puppos. Do what I can. Oh, I'm on fire! I'm still on fire! Yeah, you are on fire, because you killed him. Your skills were lit, bro. Thank you. Oh. Oh, we're bad. Oh, jeez. Anything? Anything? Yep. Fast like lightning! Yeah. Nice job. I see you over there, you motherfucker! 
Right. That's part one. Alright, can I give you a little tip? Go for it. Uh, the little coins above the enemy head, you can uh, hold square to get the items. Huh. So that's how that works. Yeah, the game really didn't tell us that, so hey, that's good. It may have done. I just wasn't paying attention. But I know now. We get them sick coins, which we can use to buy many a bobble. Yes, we can. Right, what's our uh, first area, mate? Because we've been at this for quite a while now. Yeah, so, um, do you remember that little... You remember where we killed that one weird-looking guy who was looking in that door? Uh-huh. Yeah, so we do want to loot him and his friend there. That's where we get the axe. Okay. The little courtyard, it's kind of in the back area. It had greenery around it. Uh, right before the, the shield guards. Oh, right before the shield guards, so not this area. Yeah, no, the other one. Okay. Yeah, it's like right before the shield guards, you can kind of go left and right above a wall. We want to go to the one with the little green area. The opposite the opposite to where the uh, the people were talking in the rooms. So avoid these guys. Yeah, we don't have to deal with those guys. Okay. It's past the bonfire area. You got it. I am a shinobi. I am stealth incarnate. Well, not really, but... So you see see the items there by the bonfire? Uh-huh. Those might be the, the tools that we need, so... I wonder if we could just sneak above the rooftops, drop down, get them, and jump back out. It might be worth a try. It's also that item there. Yeah. A fistful of ash. Oh, hey, there's that dude that kept killing us. Oh, don't go into the fire. He hates it. Thankfully, fire works on a, on a little meter in this game. Actually, no one's really seen us. Ah, uh, well. Except for that guy throwing pots at us. You motherfucker! That, that was a, that's a speedy boy with the axe, which is surprising. You wouldn't think so. Yeah, we're on it. We're on it. Just run away. Eventually, they will forget all about our existence. I'm not here. <laughs> Just slightly ducks down, and he's like, well, guess he's gone. The more you separate, the more you do my job for me. Ah, he can see. We do have our shurikens we can fire from afar. Sorry, doggo. Sorry, doggo. He hates him. Not coming closer, are we? Well... Nope, don't like that. Nope, don't like that. He's hitting us with the fire. With the fire schmicks up. Lock on, Tom. There's a good point. Surprisingly, hitting with fire does a lot of damage, which I guess makes sense, because we are alone. Alright, just grab all these items and go. Flame barrel, that's a prosthetic. Balloon of wealth. Pellets. Oh, we like absorb it all. We got some medicine. So, what we can do now, actually is take that item and uh, get it fitted for a new prosthetic. Neat. We can get a flamethrower, it seems. I like that. Bit of a clusterfuck in there, but hey-ho. Yeah, we're getting better. What's all this weed, Tanner? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with you in spirit. Oh, oh, fairly. Ooh. 
those are the uh, those are the things that let you use your uh, tools there. So you get them from killing enemies, or you can get them through buying them. They're fairly cheap. We shall travel to the dilapidated temple. In the future? <laughs> and he'll be like, wait a sec, huh? These were all destroyed three years ago. <laughs> what kind of magic is this? Magic most foul. Wall hug death blow. So, the first half sounds so nice, and the second half sounds so mean. Yeah, a shame, really. Ooh, esoteric text. Ah, this lets us level up. Nice. Would have been nice if you gave me this before I went to the fucking past. Yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay, cool. New prosthetic, please. Don't care about Dragon Rot. No, I need prosthetic. Oh, okay, he's just telling me to fuck off. I have the flame vent. Nice. Dope. Set dudes on fire. Yeah, deal fire damage via a short range blast while also inflicting burn status. That's what that dude in um, the present was afraid of. Yeah, because he says anyone with red eyes takes extra damage from fire. There you go. I guess we could use that to our advantage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have no gourd seeds. So we can now probably check our menu there to see uh, see our uh, our upgrades. Where be they? They said from the. I do not see where we can actually do it though. Maybe we have to equip that scroll we got. As a quick item, I don't know. I don't see it here. Alas. Let's go kick some ass. I'm scared of the past now. The acquire skills menu oh, has been locked. Yay. Let me acquire some skills. Uh, whirlwind slash. Cool. Mikiri counter. I've heard this one is the one that you really want to deal with uh, any enemies that have the long spears there. And I have insufficient skill points, so that will do. You might have to equip it, so we'll do that after we uh, travel there. Oh, that's not the past. That looks like the present. I'm not going to the past. I want to stay in the present. Look, guys, I'm going to be real. The past was a shit show. From what I heard, uh, that's kind of how this game it deviates, where you can take the path of the present and the path of the past and some people just said I'm not doing the past for most of it because it was hard come on you tar let's go He hates it. Oh, I figured out how to do the, the stealth kill that we were trying to do. So we go up to him, we have him break out, we go back up to the save point, wait for the battle music to stop, he'll walk back up to there, and as he's walking back, you can get the stealth kill. It's not cheating, it's uh, it's creative win. See ya! And then he's going to be like, I'm going to get you. And then we're going to go up there and he's going to be like, well, no, I guess not. We just got to wait for the battle music to stop. Needs to have apparently uh, him not seeing you for long enough. And then when he starts to walk back, you can get a stealth kill on him. Tee hee. Ho ho. Nice. Now, can I replicate that? That's the thing. Uh, 
I don't know if you can replicate it, but it at least gets rid of one health bar, which makes it mundo easier. Come on. Come on, you bitch. Ooh, dip and dodge. Thanks! So it's a flesh wound. Nothing a little Saki can't heal. Gulp, gulp. Nice trucking shit you've got there. Yeah, that, that foot has a, has a vanilla Sagat hitbox. Come on. Come on. His head was going kind of weird there. A little bit. Come on. Ouch. Ouchy pouchy. Well, you know what they say. Shinobis run away and they live to fight another day. I have no healing gourds, but I have sugar. Ooh, get that sugar rush. Feel it in your soul. Why did I do that? That was close. Oh no. Hi, Hello, bye. friend. So there is another dude up in the corner that we don't want to aggro either. Come on. Come on, you bitch. What you got? What you got? You got nothing. Oh, no. And he can shimmy one, two, or three times. Ooh, that stab did a lot of damage. Come on. One more stab. Yes! Oh my god, we did it! He hates it. By God is my witness, he is broken. Oh, oh yes. That took like half an hour. Oh, blessed Tanner. Oh, we did it. This dude sucks. I mean, yeah, he does awesome MMA stuff, which is hilariously out of place for ye olde Japan. Oh. Lord have mercy. Yo, let's hit that big ol' save point after we grab this loot. What? Okay, I thought it was just throwing made-up words at me. Nightjar monocular. You can. I read that as a ninjar. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord, there's more stuff. Gourd seed. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, it's really useful. That gives us another big old sippy. Don't know what the ceramic shard does, but I haven't been reading the stuff, so there you go. We can throw it to distract enemies, which, I mean, sure, if you want to play that way. The, you know, MGS1, what was that noise sort of stuff. Not me, though. I fumbled my way through, and at the end, if we're good, we're good. Ah. <sighs> Enhanced physical attributes option has been unlocked in the Sculptor's Idol menu. Nice. Four prayer beads can upgrade our stuff, but we only have the one. That's fine. We will rest, and then we will travel. Oh man, so, Sekiro, shadows die twice. Um, first of all, not accurate. I died many times throughout the course of this quick look. You will just have seen uh, the uh, director's cut of this quick look, because trust me, it got annoying after a while, me dying all the time. Hashtag release the end Tom cut. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, yeah, what are you doing, actually? Hey, oh, he's been coughing blood now. I guess that's the dragon, right? Uh, da, da, da. Bring me samples of blood coughed up by others that suffer from dragon rot. That's nice and all, but can you upgrade my healing capacity right now? Yeah, lady, I got a gourd seed for ya. I will plant it and then bathe. Good, yes. So, this has been Sakuro, Shadows Die Twice. I am not very good at it. Uh, especially when it comes to parrying and such. But um, 
you know me, I'm not particularly good in the reflex department at the best of times. Here's everyone who's currently pledged. Tanner, have you enjoyed our time through uh, ye old Japan? You know what? It's way less Dark Souls than I expected. It's way more, you know, sort of uh, stealthy. And I I think out of all the, the Souls games that I've looked at, this is the one that I most jive with from a gameplay and aesthetic department. Uh-huh. And being set in Japan definitely helps. But boy, some of them, some of them things they throw at you, it's like you gotta... You gotta have the reflexes of a, well, a Asian playing Street Fighter. Or just a shinobi in the uh, Sengatsu period or whatever. Yep, yep. Any of those, I suppose. But yeah, if you want your own quick look, which I will bubble my way through, hit up patreon.com forward slash hellfire comms. Every penny helps support the group. And you may see a game you like uh, when we catch up in the backlog and whatnot. See you next time for another quick look. Bye bye.